I was doing public relations. I had written my first novel, Unapparent Wounds. I had a wonderful agent who was my best friend who worked for a movie, movie her ex-husband actually was had a, liter, um, a movie, mainly screenwriting agency, but they took my novel, um, my second novel, which is called Virgin Kisses, which Michael Douglas Option tried to make a movie of forever, and then they let me do the screenplay. The, uh, uh, Ridley Scott and his, his, um, his brother in England, I went to England and did the screenplay. Again, way ahead of its time. Very, very, I won't let, still won't let my kids read it. <laughs> I couldn't sell the first novel. It was turned down by 30 publishers. I didn't even know there were 30 publishers. I was an unknown writer in Los Angeles. And if you were in Los Angeles, then being a serious uh, novelist was an oxymoron. There wasn't, there was Harold Stone, there was, um, um, uh, you know, a couple of the women, I'm forgetting her name, that wrote, they, you know, like Jackie, Suzanne, that kind of stuff. There was, if you were a serious novelist, you were in New York, which is, of course, was my, you know, goal to go back, not as an actress, but as a writer. Um, so I was, I thought either I'm going to apply to grad school and I'm going to become a therapist, which was always the only other thing I thought I would be any good at, um, or I'm just going to start another book. And I started this book, Virgin Kisses, and I'd given my best friend agent the first two chapters. I've never done anything like that ever before since. I don't let anybody see anything until I have a first complete draft. I don't want anybody kicking the tires. I don't need any of that. You know, I have to trust myself and just tell the story. But anyway, it was on her desk when this very fancy New York City literary um, publisher came in because he was friends with theirs and saw the first two chapters on her desk and said, what's this? And he had a partner in New York, Chelsea House was the publication. They mainly did nonfiction because they'd never agreed on a novel. And they both agreed on a virgin kiss. And then all of a sudden I'm in New York, I'm at the Algonquin, I'm, you know, I'm like, oh my God. And that book, um, that put me on the, the map and then, I saw what it's like, and I understood the fame game too, that it wasn't really, you know, the, the herd comes at you and man, they'll go away just as fast if it doesn't work. Um, but because of Michael Douglas and everything, I had, you know, I got a lot of, um, and then everybody wanted me. What was wild is I sold my first novel then, the same exact novel, to William Morrow, who I had submitted it to, and they had rejected it without changing a word or anything. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's really fascinating how, how that works um, and not, not really in a positive way, but everybody has a job. They don't want to lose their job taking a chance on an unknown person that might, you know, not sell any books. So, but I love the story that, you know, I sold the book to the same people that had turned it down <laughs> just because all of a sudden I was a, sort of a, you know, a hot new person on the scene.